drive home from a track workout, just like a hard, solid effort that was good, I just wanna share it with someone immediately. And away we go, ladies and gentlemen. Just getting ready for my run, putting some water back because it's hot out here in Denver. And yes, I'm leading off with a question of the day. Do you prefer to run solo or in a group or a combination? There's no right answer here. Uh, and you know, it gets into the whole discussion about introverts and extroverts and uh, training with a group or not training with a group in different ability levels. And frankly, at the, at the end of the day, for me, it just comes down to time and the like scheduling. It's really difficult to go run with other people for me. Um, so anyway, this is the discussion today. We're gonna to talk about uh, what, and also later after the run, I'm gonna talk about the mental side of how I approach running alone and what keeps me motivated to keep running alone all the time. Now listen, I run with people occasionally. Uh, if my brother lived closer by, like in Denver, we would definitely run all the time, or my buddy Steve, or a couple other people, but listen, it's like, life is life. Like, you just gotta, you gotta, get, sometimes you're just squeezing in the runs when you can. So that's the question of the day, and um, we'll come up with a keyword later. All right, let's go dig out the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebels First impressions, publishing at 5 p.m. Mountain Time today. All right, let's go get them out of here in the studio. All right, let's get these. Let's get them here. When Kofuzi and I went running in Chicago last week, he asked what would be a, a shoe company that is kind of doing cutting edge things in 2019, and he said Hoka. And I would agree with that. And I said New Balance because I think this Fuel Cell Rebel is pushing the uh, envelope forward for New Balance. So, um, and that in addition to the 5280, which is basically a road racing shoe for the mile or potentially maybe, I don't know, maybe the 5K. I don't own it yet, maybe down the road. But uh, anyway, I went with New Balance. All right, onward and upward. All right, we made it downtown. And you know what, we're gonna go with solo for the keyword for this vlog, uh, because we're talking about solo running today and the mental side of how I go about uh, staying in a good place mentally with all of these runs alone. And uh, so anyway, we'll talk about that once again back at the studio. Uh, I was gonna mention one other thing, but it'll come to me on the run. All right, got my green hat, got my watch. Let's rock and roll. Just wash the hat. It's looking, looking fresh. Looking fresh. All right, everyone, about halfway through the run, and I was just, I didn't want to forget, so I'm stopping now to tell you. Uh, you know, I listen to music, but actually, when you see me with earbuds on, uh, when I'm running, as far as I, you know, sometimes the runs can get a little long, a little tiring, it's good to have something to distract you sometimes when you don't have someone to run with. But for me, it's like podcasts all the time, and I think I'm gonna publish a short video soon for my top three running podcasts that I love to listen to. Uh, but anyway, I'm not, I'm not listening to anything tonight. It's just too beautiful out, and I'm just soaking it all in. But I, I do listen to things. Now, if you're in a team context, like it was a big, big no-no to listen to anything uh, running on a team, like because you're, you're around your teammates. But some people did, and it was a very, very frowned upon by the other teammates because you're there to like get to know each other and bond and all that good stuff. So anyway, just wanted to mention that, and we're rolling. Come on.
All right, there we go. Solo run in the books. But I gotta say, around mile six, so it's a nice evening in Denver, I was just cruising along and I was like, man, how cool would it be to have a running club that could just like meet at, let's say like 7.30, 8 p.m. and just go crush urban streets. Like just go cruising around town without a care in the world. Uh, and actually maybe go into like a fast tempo. Just like, it was so fun to just go fast. So anyway, that was good. All right, heading back. Actually, I'm going to pick up some food and then back to the house, back to the studio, all that good stuff. And yes, again, first impressions of the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. Publishing at 5 p.m. You're not, you're, you're not gonna wanna miss it. You're just not wanna miss it. Last night I was craving orange juice or some type of juice like orange juice so bad I almost left my house at like 10 p.m. to go get some. So we're, we're on the pursuit of OJ. Now 100% running can be a little lonely at times, especially if you're doing high volume and you're just doing it solo. But uh, one of the loneliest times I would say is the drive home, what I'm doing right now. Cause you wanna talk about your run, you wanna talk about how it went, maybe the ups and the downs. You wanna talk about what you're gonna eat afterward, like what I'm thinking about right now. So I find this like the drive home from the mountains, drive home from a track workout, just like a hard, solid effort that was good. I just wanna share it with someone immediately. And that was one of the benefits of obviously, you know, being on the CU cross country team, uh, especially we would always, you know, have usually a 30 minute drive back to campus anyway. Just riffing here, but uh, not sure if you can relate to that, that slight lonely spot after a run when you just wanna share it with the world, you know what I mean? But thankfully, I got you guys and you got, and I'm here for you, you're here for me. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, let's go get some food. Okay, everyone, real quick. I got to keep this real concise because it's getting late. Um, mental strat, and listen, I am not a, I, I never really studied psychology, so I'm not qualified completely to talk about this, but I'll just speak from experience and the mental side of running alone. First of all, life has changed with the smartphone. I loved, I loved growing up in the early 2000s with no smartphone in high school. I didn't have a smartphone until I was a soft, no, actually it was later, but I had my first cell phone when I was a sophomore in college. It was a beautiful thing because I just lived simply and I just lived. And so connecting that to running as far as like I relish and I yearn for that quiet, uh, when I'm not listening to podcasts, when I'm not listening to music, but that disconnected time while running, even on the long runs, even in the cold winter running, I love it. I just love disconnecting. And the other thing is that when you approach peak fitness, it gets easier. Running gets easier. And how does that connect to running alone? Um, basically, you start to have more fun. And I really mean that, like running should be fun. I know it's hard, but the more fit you become, the easier, in quotes, a little easier it becomes. And yes, I believe the more fun it becomes. And frankly, in this world, the world we live in, like we need a little more fun in this world, just like good, uh, healthy fun, because sometimes the stresses of money or politics or whatever else is in oh hold on or lights going out i don't know there's just so much garbage out there so anyway i just i lean into the goodness of disconnecting and of running and of re like in and, and 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 okay there's no bike involved there's no rope there's no kayak there's no nothing it's just you and your feet and i love that simplicity and that helps me when i don't necessarily want to go run um, which is very rare. In fact, it hardly ever happens, but it's taken years to build up to that. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there. I know I didn't, I didn't nail, that, uh, nail that answer for you guys, but that's kind of a little of my mental, at least my mental thinking, maybe not strategy, but mental thinking when it comes to running alone is it's a nice, it's just a nice way to unplug. All right. I already did the question the question of the day. I already did the keyword. I love you guys. And we're just gonna keep rocking and rolling. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Ah, can't wait for your comments down below. See you tomorrow.